Okay, let's sharpen uh, Komanagura and uh, Nakayama Tomonagura with uh, uh, Nakayama whetstones. Uh, at the beginning, uh, sharpening uh, Komanagura on the uh, Nakayama whetstone. Nakayama whetstone is a smaller particle then uh, coma, it's uh, maybe uh, almost highest grit of the fine grit stones and then coma is uh, maybe low, lower grit of uh, lower side grit of uh, uh, fine grit stones so uh, size like this and then when we sharpen razor uh, both slurry is mixed together but uh, bigger particles more uh, affect for the sharpening. Of course, uh, smaller particles, uh, Nakayama slurry, uh, influence something for the laser sharpening, but mostly bigger particles is more uh, influence for the sharpening. So let's start doing that. We have to check it out, the, use the lower grit stone and then take the corner, it's not sharp, not affecting the uh, sharpening and then lines up the Nakayama uh, fine grit with stones. And then we can use uh, 220 to delete uh, all pencil lines and then the, make it a little bit smoother to 1000 grit after that. But, or we can use uh, just diamond grit with stones to delete the all lines. Still a little bit corner side remain but main portion is all deleted. This uh you know lines from the west on so it's not a line and then make sure rinse very well and then start to the comma nagra sharpening. If the comma uh lapping surface too smooth we can scratch a little bit with the nail and then it, that makes it easier to move lapping the wood stone sometimes we don't need too too much water we need little amount of water and uh, The slurry from a coma, at least a little bit milky color comes out. Okay, maybe should be enough. And then make sure we don't want to con contaminate with uh, dust or bigger particles or, and then wash well and then uh, uh, laser has to be the shinogi line and the edge line is straight and then attach on the west on the heel side to the uh, uh, tip side both, both, both sides otherwise it doesn't work for sharpening Gotta be uh, both both sides and then middle side all over the place attach one time. With the stone, it's basically uh, it's flat, so if not, it doesn't attach. 
on a west stone so means that it doesn't sharpen well The slowly getting a little darker means a uh, steel and a uh, soft iron color, metal color into the uh, slurry. So I'm getting darker and then Yeah, I should do a little bit more but not enough time so I go I gotta go, go into the Nakayama Tomonaga sharpening and then the, there's a two way to get the slurry from the Nakayama so just rinse very well the uh, warm, little bit warm Diamond wrapping stones, uh, it works to get the slurry. And then, new one is might be uh, easy, easier to uh, the diamond paste uh, falling into the slurry, but old one already gone, so uh, less possibility to get into the slurry. So we can get the slurry like this. Or we can get the uh, Nakayama Tomonagura to get the slurry. This way might be easier, faster. But uh, both stone is not exactly the same stone, so. Uh, Result is might be different using the uh, diamond wrapping stones or uh, Nakayama Tomonagura. And then wash very well the razor. We don't want a lower grit slurry like this. We want just a small uh, uh, slurry. And then same way to sharpen. Usually, uh, if I study uh, shopping from a uh, medium grid, medium high grid, like a uh, um, bottom, then after that, comma or tenjo or mejiro, and then start doing the finishing stone itself or with Nakayama Tomonagura, so on the uh, final sharpening like this, 
I usually take like 30 minutes to one hour to little by little remove the scratches from the lower grit. Takes long time. Sometimes, you know, couple hours I sh keep on sharpening and uh, look at microscope and then figure out how it is. I have to do more and then and uh, later on uh, s smaller distance and then less pressure to remove the old scratches takes a long time, long way to go. And now at the end Remove the wash away all slurries and then uh, try to remove the bar on the bread edge. Moving, moving from a uh, tip to a uh, heel, very short distance. Only a little bit, four or five times, and then I uh, uh, check the microscope or cut the, try to cut the hair, and then figure out or oh, still it's good enough or I have to sharpen more. That's all for now. Thank you.